Hello everybody, my name is Christine and I have been cross stitching for three months and I just wanted to show you what I have, what my current whips are, some accessories. Here we go. This is the first cross stitch I did as I was waiting for other ones to arrive in the mail. I just ordered this one off Amazon to get a feel for it. It's pretty straightforward, very small. Here, I'm going to try and show you the picture because I actually have a picture. Is Alice in Wonderland. This is a bit ambitious for my first. I will have a bit of trouble getting it all into screen, so bear with me. This is quite a big piece. I'm doing this with uh, the Facebook and YouTube channel Stitcherella. She's doing Alice Tuesdays, which I happen to already be doing in Alice, so that works perfectly for me. Here I have the colours, the threads. Apologise if you can hear the dryer in the background and if you hear a little baby, he is on the floor next to me. This does have some extra Hanks, but I don't need to show you because they're all here on this thread minder. I got these from AliExpress, they're pretty cheap and it saves ripping the cardboard and losing threads. Other accessories I'm also using is a needle minder. Yes, the needles are tricky to get into place and have them stay. However, I'm not too worried because the whole point is that I split my threads and they're ready to pull off. I'm ready to thread onto the needle and it's good to go. It makes it nice and quick. I'm sorry I keep hitting the camera. I'm on a very awkward angle trying to do this. Ooh, sorry. So I'll just bundle this up and put it away after. So that's the first whip I have. Second is this Christmas one I've been working on for a little while. And I got a little bit demotivated with this just after I started, because as you can see, it's quite pixelated. For example, here's the picture here. You can see in the window colors but in the window of the actual picture, you can see toys. You can see baubles on the tree. So I got a little bit demotivated with this one. I'm still stitching regularly on it. There's Santa at the top. the threads. I didn't mention the first one, the Alice one, is from Tapestry Market and so is this Santa one, this Christmas store, toy store. Also Tapestry Market. Here I have two smaller needle minders because when I ordered them I didn't realize they were small but it still serves the purpose. So we have 47 colors on this one. I didn't mention on the Alice. Alice is 40 colors. I keep all my projects in these zip plastic mesh bags. Absolutely perfect for the job. They're A4, 
I got them from Amazon, but you can also get them from AliExpress, Timu. You'll be able to find them anywhere else as well. My third whip is this Koi Nine Fish. I did get this one off AliExpress. It's round. Absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to finish and frame this one. So I work back and forth with my whips. I usually work on Alice Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I do another one Thursday, Friday and another one Saturday, Sunday, just whichever tickles my fancy at the time. Here are the colors. I learned a trick about braiding them to, keeping, to keep them neater. And I'll show you to pull a thread. Just grab hold of one, hold onto your braid nice and tight and it pulls straight out without messing up too much. Very clever. So there's 36 colors in this. And I don't have these on, on the plastics yet. They're there ready to go. And no needle minder yet. But I will sort that out when I pull this one out next time. I do have a fourth and a final whip and I was not prepared, so I'll just grab it for you. This is a little caddy I work out of. Every time I change cross stitch, I clean this out, put it back into the bag and set my next one up in it. So it's got a little just a little bucket for the threads, off cuts, rubbish. This is the tape I'm using. It's really been a game changer. It's really cheap. I get mine off AliExpress. It just wraps around your finger and saves your finger. When you've been cross stitching too much and they start to split my thumb. So it hurts with this one because it's a six strand. Got a clippy duty. It goes on the frame, keeps it all neat or rolls up. Sorry about the noise. This is the fourth cross stitch I'm working on. And it's the Chinese Lucky Cat. So I have been working on this most recently, obviously, that's why it's in the caddy and it still has a needle attached to it. Hi, <coughs> baby. This one's great to work on because I don't need to think. There's no uh, confetti. All of the cross stitches I work on, I plan on displaying. This one's nice and simple. I can put on a movie, I can get distracted, I can pick it up and put it down 50 times to look after the kids, tend to the kids, do housework, and I don't need to think about it. It's very basic threads, 12 colors. This one's a bit messy because I'll just put the whole hank in there. And I probably won't bother putting this on a plastic thread organizer because there's only 12 there's the extra hanks and there's a crinkle i was trying to avoid doing so there are all my whips i plan on only working on four at a time otherwise i'm scared i won't finish any 
this is another Christmas one I have. Even though I've only been stitching for three months, I have purchased quite a number of cross stitches, but I will not be purchasing any more until I finish some more. So I think I'll be starting this one in, I think June or July, the group I'm part of, Stitcherella, so that she's going to start a Christmas, um, Christmas one where we all do it. There are our own Christmas stitches and show our progress. So I think it'll be this one because I want to finish the other one as well. And this one seems like it'll be pretty, pretty quick. It's 25 colors. Seems pretty basic. Here's the chart. I haven't shown you any chart on the rest of them, so probably not much point showing you that. And here's the threads, a little bit of colour, mostly greys. Understandably, it's a snow globe. I was going to split this into two videos, but it seems to be going pretty fast. So I we'll think we'll just push through and do, I'll show you all of my collection. Until I get to the crinkles, I'll stop the video because I'm not going to do that crinkly unbagging sound. This is two of my most recent haul. This is Hal from Hal's Moving Castle. It's one of my favorite animes. When I saw it, I just had to get it. So that is, goes up this way. It's no real blocking, except for 21, that blue color. But it's not huge, so. Shouldn't take too, too long. Oh, my threads are in the crinkle, sorry. I am sorry if this seems rushed. Seems to be the only time I can do it. My two and a half year old is at his grandparents at the moment, having a little play. My three month old is chilling in his rocker. And if I don't do it now, it'll just stay on my mind, but I want to do it, so. <laughs> This one's got some beautiful colors. There's a lady who's part of the Facebook group, group that I'm part of and I saw that she also recently got this one and the next one I'm going to show you, she got that recently in her most recent haul. And I said to her, look, when you're going to start that, let me know and I will stitch with you. Choose which one you want to do and I will get it started. Hopefully I have finished one of my four before I venture into that. And here is the companion to how this ooh, just dropped a cross stitch this is the girl from hell's moving castle and for the life of me i cannot remember her name I didn't mention it. This is 48 colors and Hal is 44. Let's crinkle out of the way. This has to be my most favorite thread color palette. 
all these purples and pinks. Some beautiful oranges. So I'm really looking forward to doing this one. There is that one. I have one more that's not in crinkly packaging. Well, it's not too crinkly anyway. This one I ordered because my other Christmas toy store one is so pixelated I was upset about it. So, although I'll finish it, I would love for it to have had better detail. So I got this one. This is another toy store see Santa as a lady lots of different toys this picture is very blurry so it will be hard to make out I got this one in 14 count it's my only 14 count all every single other one is 11 count because that's what I'm comfortable and happy with as a beginner but I would really like a Christmas theme one to put up at Christmas time that's well detailed it's just my only 14 count This one's 35 colors only, so I may have the same problem, but it'll take me longer. We'll see. It's the only one I have that did not come on the cards. The thread didn't come on the cards. This one's from AliExpress. So I have all my threads just here in this bag, which is fine. I take them off the cards anyway. It's the first time I'll ever have to cut the threads to length, but it's fine. However, this is also the first cross stitch I have ever received that has a quick unpick, which would have come in handy a couple of times with my Alice project. This is a usual um, threader, thimble, poofy ball with some needles and a quick unpick, which is nice. And also, These cool all metal scissors. So these are very cool. A couple, uh, one of the first cross stitches I got, I think it was my nine fish, came with these scissors. I've been using these the whole time for all my cross stitches and I figure I'll use them until they go blunt and then I'll switch out. Another also what I've been using is the wax pull. A lot of people only use these on their silky threads, but I found it really helpful on my Lucky Cat because that uses six stitches. And I'll show you why, didn't mention it. Because my Lucky Cat is such a basic design and I wanna get it finished, I've been doing it in 10 stitch. So a half stitch instead of a full cross stitch. And it has gone so fast. So because that's using six threads, I find it passes through a bit easier when I run it through the wax wheel. Also on the side of my caddy, I have this handy dandy, it's actually a fridge magnet. Sorry with a clip so you can clip lots of documents onto your fridge. But I found it's actually the strongest magnet for needles. So I can attach it to my cross stitch physically when it's on a hoop, which I've decided to not be using that often, or just straight onto the side of my caddy. And I have everything available to me right there. I do have some accessories. When I first started, I thought that I might need a lap hoop. So 
so I did purchase this. I was doing my Christmas toy store on it for a while, but this doesn't seem to stay. No matter how much I tighten it, after a few stitches and turning to put the thread through the back because I didn't know how to front anchor, it just is constantly loose, so it's very frustrating. I have also got the standard hoops in three sizes, which work okay. I have found that I prefer to stitch in hand. Um, so I haven't actually put this, put any on the hoops since I figured to stitch in hand. I also purchased one of these frames. Hi baby, hi baby. And these frames have these clips. There's a little ridge there, goes into this space and attaches the canvas. Pretty sturdy. But again, as soon as I got one of my cross stitches into this, I realized 100% I prefer to stitch in hand. Same thing with these handy dandy Q snaps. Great idea. Put it on, clip, twist. Had I got a size that was functional, but I wouldn't use it anyway. So there we go, that is all my accessories. I did recently purchase some nice sewing scissors. This is a two pack from AliExpress. They're nice and sharp. But a purchase that, again, I really didn't need to make because I have those little blue scissors and these very cool metal scissors that came in my last kit. Oh, I'd be short on little thread scissors. I'm going to stop the video and do a part two uh, because I have some more cross stitches I want to show you in my haul that have crinkly paper and I cannot stand to hear that. So I'll be right back. Well, actually go to video two because I don't know how to stitch these together either. Okay, bye.